with so many AI video generators hitting the market, you may be wondering which of them are actually worth your time and money, especially in terms of quality, speed, and prompt execution. In this video, I'll share with you seven AI video generators and together we'll find out just how good or bad each of these AI tools are and just how accessible they are as well. Now, I have saved my top three best for last, so make sure you stay till the end of the video. Just to keep things fair, first, I'll test each of these AI tools using the text to video feature only. Secondly, I will use the same exact prompts for all the AI tools. Third, I will ensure that all prompt enhancers are off. And finally, I will keep the video generation to between four and six seconds. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. So first we'll go over to ChatGPT and I created these two prompts that we'll be using throughout for all the video generators. So first off, I'll just go over to the first video generator, which is Vidu AI. So once you're here, all you need to do is click on try Vidu, then go ahead and create your account using your Google account or any email address that you have or your phone number. So once you get to this page, go ahead and click on create video and this page will open up. So from here, you can go ahead and create from an image or from a text. Now, remember for this, we are just going to be using the text to video. We are not going to be using the image to video at all. So let's go ahead and click on text to video. So once you're here, the next thing that you need to do is input your prompt. So first I'll switch off the enhanced prompt feature because I do not want it to interfere with my prompt. The next I'll go over to ChatGPT and I'll copy my first prompt. So once I do that, I'll head over back to Vidu and paste that exact prompt. Now, once that is done, you can go ahead and choose the settings that you want. So I'll choose the four seconds because I want all the videos to be five seconds and below. I don't want to generate very long videos. Once you've chosen the settings that you want to use, you can go ahead and click on create. So this is just going to go ahead and generate your video. So now that our first video is ready, we can just go ahead and look at it on a bigger screen. Now looking at this video, I'd say the quality is just average. Again, I don't know what's up with the execution because I do not understand why I have two women and one man. That is pretty weird. So in terms of executing my prompt, I'd say that is a total failure. Now let's just go ahead and test the second prompt. So in this case, I'll just go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to copy my second prompt. So once I've copied the prompt, I'll just paste it in this prompt box again and I'll just use the same settings and hit generate. Now, a few minutes later, we have our second video. So let's just go ahead and look at it on a bigger screen again. Now, when it comes to the environment, I'd say that it really did try to get it right. You can see all the palm trees. You can see the waves that are rocking the shores. Like it really tried and even the speed of the car, well, it's not really as fast as I would like it to be. All the same, it really did try to execute the prompt that I gave it. Now, the only thing it didn't get right is the car. I'm not sure in which world this is a Ferrari. All the same, the execution of the second video is way better than the first one. Now that you've seen the results, let's just go ahead and see how accessible this is for everyone. So when you go to the credit section, you can see I have 72 remaining, meaning that per month you get 80 credits. So each generation consumes four. So that means you can get quite a number of generations per month. All the same, if you do a lot of generations, you'll definitely need to get one of their paid subscription plans. Now let's go over to our second tool and that is Pixverse. So just go ahead and click on try Pixverse. You can go ahead and sign up with any of the methods that are provided here. So once that is done, you'll be brought to this page. So you can use an image or a text with this AI tool, but I'm using a text as usual. So once that is done, I'll go over and choose the duration and any other settings that I want. And once that is done, I'll hit create. Now this is going to start generating our video. And in a few minutes, we have our video ready. So let's look at it on a bigger screen again. So first off, this is actually a good video. It's better than I expected. You can see the girls here as it sways gently in the wind. You can see the flowers are swaying gently as well. You can even see the way they are walking, like there's so much coherence in their legs. 
So I'd say the execution part is actually really good. The only thing is that the video quality is not the best I have seen so far, but it's actually better than most that I have seen. So let's see how this AI tool will fare in the second prompt. So I have input the prompt and chosen the settings that I want. Now I'll hit create and give it a minute to generate the video. So our video is ready. So again, let's just go over to a bigger screen so that we can see this clearly. So first things first, you can see it got the speed part really well. If you look at this video, you can tell that the car is at a very high speed. Now, everything else about the video is actually, it's actually trash. Because first of all, you can see that this road kind of leads straight into the ocean. I don't know what's going on there. Secondly, the car is going backwards. So no, that's, that's, mm -mm, that's a no for me. So now when it comes to accessibility, you can see they have a basic plan. That is the free plan. With the free plan, you get 30 credits every day. So that gives you only two generations per day. So if you want to do this for something serious, you need to get one of their paid subscriptions. So their list tier is $8 per month, which is pretty much at par with most other AI video generators. Now on to our third AI video generator, and this is none other than Hyper AI. So once you're here, just go ahead and click on login and you'll be able to sign up for your own account. Once that is done, you will land on this page over here. And remember what you want is the text to video option. They also have the image to video, but you're not interested in that. So we'll go over to the text to video and you're going to paste our first prompt. Again, you're going to choose the settings that we want. And for the duration, you're going to choose the four second one. So once that is done, we'll hit create. So again, you just give this a few minutes, go ahead and generate our video. So that was actually fast. So let's go ahead and look at this on a bigger screen. Hmm. So this is what a complete disaster looks like. The man has a head that can rotate at 360 degrees. There's absolutely weird movement going on. So this one, <laughs> this one is an absolute and epic failure. Let's see how it does in the second prompt. So I'll just go ahead and paste my prompt, choose the settings that I want, then hit create. Let's hope we get a better video this time. So the second video is ready. Let's go ahead and look at it again on a bigger screen. So it actually got the second one mostly right. You can see all the waves that are crashing at the beach. You can see the palm trees. The car is on point. Everything is perfect except for the speed. Well, the movement is actually really good. So I'll give it that. And to be honest, this is way better than I expected. So now let's see how accessible this tool is. So as you can see, they have a free plan. This means that anyone can use this tool and get started right away. You get five free generations every day and 300 generations when you sign up for the first time. So their first subscription tier is at $8, which is the Explorer. So this is at par with most other AI video generators out there. So now let's go over to our fourth AI video generator, which is Viva AI. So once you're here, click on try for free and sign up with your Google or Discord account. Once you do that, this is the page you land on. So in this explore page, you'll see other people's creations. So we'll go over to the video generation page and they have the text to video as well as the image to video. And we are only interested in the text to video. So I'm going to paste my prompt over here. Next, I'll go over and switch off the magic prompt uh, option. After that, I'll choose the model that I want as well as the motion strength and the aspect ratio. Once all that is done, hit generate. So the first video is ready. It took around one hour to generate. So that's a pretty long wait time. So let's just go ahead and look at the video on a bigger screen and see what we got. So the first thing I noticed is that the video quality is actually not really that good, but the execution of the prompt is actually okay. So if you look at the head movement, the eyes, the legs, the hands as they move, like there isn't any morphing with these features. And I think that is a really good thing. So let's go ahead and see how this is going to fare in the second prompt as well. So I'll just go ahead and input my second prompt in the prompt box. Again, I'll make sure the magic prompt is off. Then I'll go ahead and generate with this. So the second video took close to two hours to generate. So the wait time is really crazy here. So if you're using this AI tool, you better be ready for that. 
Now looking at our video on a bigger screen, you can see that this video is actually really good. You can tell that the car is at a high speed, just like we've been wanting to see. You can see the waves that are crashing at the shore. You can even see the palm trees. Now I'm not sure if I can see any palm trees, but basically the execution of this is way better than anything that I have seen so far. So how accessible is this AI tool? So let's just find out. So as you can see, they have a free plan and with this you can generate two images and a video, I think per day. Now both of those will come with watermarks. So if you want a pro plan, you can start at $5, which I think is pretty accessible to a lot of people. And with that, you'll get unlimited number of video generations, which I think is really cool. And especially considering that their generations are actually okay. Now let's move on to our next AI tool, which is none other than Luma Labs. So once you're here again, just click on try now. So once you sign up for an account, you'll be directed to this page. So you can go ahead and generate from an image or a text, but you're generating from text as usual. So once I input my prompt, I'll go ahead and uncheck the enhance prompt button. And now I can go ahead and hit the generate button. In a few minutes, my generation is ready. So the video took less than a minute to generate. So let's just go ahead and see the kind of video that we actually got with this. So here's the first video and it's actually really good. Other than the weird thing going on around the eyes when the guy turns, everything else looks okay. You can see the girl's dress as she walks. And I'm assuming that the grass is knee deep because I don't see any legs, but let's assume that the grass is really tall for that. Now let's go ahead and input the second prompt and see how it fares with this. Again, I'll uncheck the enhance prompt button and then I'll go ahead and generate. So in a few minutes, my next video is ready. It's actually ready in less than a minute. So let's go ahead and look at it as well. So basically the overall execution of the prompt is actually good, but I do not understand why I have floating palm trees. I have palm trees that don't have any stem. So that is pretty weird. And again, I don't see the kind of speed that I expect to see with the prompts that I gave. So to be honest, I think I expected something way better with Luma Labs. But again, that is what we have. So let's see how accessible is Luma Labs. So if you are on a free account, you get 30 free generations every month. So basically anyone can get started with this right away. You can also choose to go ahead and subscribe to any of their plans. Their lowest one starts at $7.99. As you can see, it's pretty much at par with most other AI video generators. Next up is Kling AI. So if you do not have an account with them, just go to the very top and click on sign in. Next, go ahead and sign up for an account using your email address. So once you're done, you'll be directed to this interface. So click on AI videos. So once you're here, you can generate from a text or from an image. Again, we are just generating from a text. So I'll input my usual prompt over here. Then next, I'll go ahead and choose the settings that I want to use for this. And once that is done, I'll just go to the very bottom and click on generate. So this is just going to start my video generation process. Now I'm using a free account for this. So I got to 99% and this actually took a lot of time. So I decided to use my paid account for this instead. So I'll just use the same exact prompt. Again, I'll just use the same settings that I had chosen before. And once all that is done, I'll just go to the very bottom again and I'll just go ahead and hit the generate button. So that took around 10 minutes to generate. So here I have my video. So let's just go ahead and look at it on a bigger screen again. First, I think I like the quality of the video. It's actually really good. Secondly, I like how coherent the characters are as they move together, as they look at each other, open their eyes, close them, like there isn't any sort of morphing in their car in any of their features, sorry. So I think this is actually a good video. Now let's see how this AI tool is going to do with the second prompt. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste the second prompt and I'm going to choose the settings that I want. And after that, I'll just go ahead and hit generate. Again, that took around 10 minutes to generate. So here's the video and let's just go ahead and expand it and look at it. Now, this is actually a really good and realistic video. You can see there are some other cars on the road. 
You can even tell that the car is on high speed by looking at the tarmac. You can even see how the car changes lanes so smoothly. Even with the environment, you can see all the palm trees. You can even see the waves of the ocean. Like this actually captured the essence of our prompt. Being one of the best AI tools that we've seen so far, let's see how accessible this AI tool actually is. So let's just go to the very top and you're just going to click on the subscribe button. So once you're here, you can see there's a free plan that gives you 66 credits every single day. You also have a standard plan, which is the least, and you can get it at eight bucks. But if you're a new subscriber, I believe you can get that at three bucks. Now, I think that is pretty much at par with every other AI tool that we have seen. Now, I know a lot of people have been having issues with clean AI and having their generation stuck for days. So if you want to use this AI tool and get any actual results, I'd suggest that you get one of their paid subscription plans. Our last AI tool and possibly the best that I have seen so far is none other than Hailuo AI. To get started, go ahead and click on the sign in button and you'll be able to sign up for an account using your Google account. So once that is done, you'll land on this page. With this AI tool, you can generate from a text or from an image. Now we are only interested in the text, so I'll go ahead and input my text prompt over here. Next, I'll go ahead and hit the generate button. Uh, looks like I forgot to switch off the magic prompt button. So I'll just go ahead and discard the first video generation. Now to make this faster, you can see that you can go ahead and queue three jobs at all at once. Now I'll just go ahead and queue my two videos and this time I'll be sure to switch off the magic prompt button. So I'll just go ahead and paste my second prompt since I had already copied it. And once that is done, I'll just go over to this magic prompt button over here and I'll make sure it's off. Then I'll go ahead and hit the generate button. So this is going to queue the second job. Once that is done, I'll go ahead and paste my first prompt and this time I'll be sure to switch off the prompt enhance button. Next, I'll go ahead and hit the generate button. So this is just going to add my job to the queue. Now this generation process took a bit of time, around 20 minutes. Finally, we have our three videos. Now remember this first video, we need to discard it because I forgot to switch off the prompt enhance button. So we'll only be considering the second and the third video. So let's go ahead and start with this video over here. So let's just see what we got with this. Honestly, this is the best execution I have seen for this particular prompt so far. Starting with the video quality, I have not seen any other video with such good quality. Secondly, just look at the coherence of the two characters. You can even see the, the hair that is just gently bouncing off the lady. You can see the way they are walking, the two legs like left, right, left, right. Even the hands, they are swing. like everything about this video is just so good. Now let's go ahead and see how this AI tool did with the second prompt. So remember, we already generated all the videos. So let's just go ahead and click on this second video over here. So far, I have not really seen an AI tool that has fully excelled in both prompts as this AI tool has. Most other AI tools have just excelled in either one video or have just gone average in both videos but honestly just look at this second video looking at these two ai videos i'd say that minimax has absolutely taken the day on these and it's actually exciting to see how far these ai video generators have come now let's go ahead and actually see how accessible minimax is first you get a three-day free trial when you sign up for this ai tool and with those three days you can generate as many videos as you want after that, you get 100 free credits every day. And with that, you can generate up to three videos every single day. Their lowest paid tier is like 10 bucks. So that is not so far from the rest. But with this particular AI tool, I'd say that it's money well spent, to be honest. All in all, you now have seven AI video generators that you can go ahead and choose from. And for those of you that are not good with prompting, I have a free prompt Bible for you in the description box. You can go ahead and download that for free and tweak it according to your needs. The links to all the AI video generators that I have talked about are also in the description box below. So go ahead, get creative. Let me know what you think. If you have any question, don't hesitate to put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.